by giving Theo Walcott his first start. Incidentally, Theo was seven when Arson joined the Gunners. Watching this one, Tony Gubber. Now here's Walcott running from inside his own half. Plays it outside the defender to find Thierry Henry. Oh, Thierry Henry had a chance to cut that back to Rosicki, and it's finally gone to Rosicki! Oh, and saved by Foster, but Adebayor! And then with the legs, saved by the goalkeeper on loan from Manchester United for a second season. The first test of Watford's defence, and it needed the last man, the goalkeeper, to deny Arsenal twice. Now here's Walcott again coming from inside his own half, and that's a great ball! It just took everybody out! And Fabregas couldn't steer it towards an open goal. Beautifully measured ball, and all Fabregas had to do was get it on target. Should be an easy catch for Jens Lehmann, and gets knocked over for his trouble, but I never felt there was any real threat to the Arsenal goal. Lehman's kick was really poor, and it's been pumped back by Tommy Smith for Marlon King, and he's got Ashley Young coming to the near post. Oh, and that's a miscue, and Watford had a chance to score. And I think it was Damian Francis coming in at the back post. Could have put Watford ahead completely against the run of play. And that came about as a result of a poor clearance by Jens Lehman. It was picked off by Tommy Smith, who fed Marlon King, and he spotted the run of number seven, Damian Francis. That's not cleared either, and there's Francis again, and King got to it ahead of Jens Lehmann, but he's put it over the crossbar. Well, it was a poor header that got absolutely no distance. Marlon King showing a bit more determination than the Arsenal goalkeeper. Here's Smith, back to Young, they've got three to look for, it needed to be in the air. They had three at the back post. And now there's room here, is there, for Arsenal to break. Here's Adebayor to Rosicki. Let's it run under Fabregas. Back to Rosicki. He's in. Good save by Foster. He just took enough off it. Well, there were some more nice touches by Arsenal here to, to open up the, the back four at Watford. And he's in on the goalkeeper, who just got a hand on that. Arsenal are unbeaten in ten games at home since they lost to West Ham back in February. They've got a free kick here. With, uh, just over half an hour played in the Emirates Stadium. And Fabregas will take the free kick for Arsenal. Adebayor signalling that he, he wants it in the air. And that's where he's got it, and he won the header! And Ben Foster looks up in disappointment. Well, Arsenal take the lead after 32 minutes, but there was a deflection on the header. Well, did it hit the shoulder of Jordan Stewart? Adebayor certainly wins the header, and it's the defender, isn't it? It must be Jordan Stewart. There's been moments to savour for Arsenal in this first half, but they've certainly uh, not made the, the game safe as yet at just 1-0. And that was a poor pass, but Theo Walcott has picked up the ball and leaves it for Henri. Oh, he just knocked it between the two of them. Just a wonderful, exquisite little bit of football by Henri. His brain thinks quicker than anyone else's. And he was within inches of sliding that into the far corner. Well, a satisfactory first half for Arsene Wenger at the start of his second decade as the Arsenal manager. He's committed himself to merit, and he's put Henri in. And suddenly, Arsenal have the comfort of a two-goal lead, virtually on the stroke of half-time. The United States born player committed himself, and he took liberties, really. And you, you can't afford to do that when Henri's up against you. It's goal number four for the season for Henri. It's Arsenal's second, and that's the way it will be at half-time. The 
is Flair, just on to replace Walcott. Fabregas. Rosicki! Well, that was a good save by Foster. Rosicki showing that sharpness and those quick feet that we saw in the World Cup in the summer. And Foster just got enough on it. Well, there's still time for Watford to make an impression on this match, if they can pull a goal back. In by Mahan. Sleb just stretched out a foot and he took it away from Mahan, and this is Fabregas. And here's Henri, and there's no offside, and he slides it in front of Adebayor. And that is that. Arsenal lead 3-0. And Henri shows more class and culture. Other players might have wanted to score themselves. That is so selfless, just to slide it in front of his striking partner, Adebayor. Oh, well taken, Foster. It's a good throw as well to see that they've got two down that right side and Arsenal are just a bit short. That's it, Francis! What a chance, what a chance. But for all the chances that they've had, surely Watford are going to leave the Emirates empty-handed. It was a lot of good build-up play and we put Arsenal under pressure, but then that final little bit wasn't there today. But um, I'd be more disappointed if we uh, had the, uh, the approach play. So I've got to take the positives out of that. After your finish in the under-21s game, people are saying that you're, you're styling yourself on, on Thierry Henry. Well, I just want to be my own player, but it's, it's brilliant to learn from the best, I would say. Um, all the players at Arsenal, Robin. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, to learn from the master, I'd say. The players were in, very intelligent when I arrived. And today we are still very intelligent and motivated. That's that's a common denominator for of my ten years here. I must say the players were exceptional. Yeah, he's had lots of uh, good players. A lot of them mm. have brought on himself. Uh, another decent performance from from Arsenal. But yep. you, you'd worry a little about a bit about Watford, wouldn't you? Well, Especially the way they play in that kamikaze offside trap. I think, I think there's a, both a trap positive thing. and a negative. The positive today would be that, that they make chances, no doubt about it. But the negative, I and mean, you question the tactics going to the Emirates. And having to play su playing such a high line, which is, you can't do it. I mean, you've, you've got Henri with his pace. You've also got Walcott as well today. And uh, they, they get away with this because the final ball isn't particularly good. But you've either had to got four roadrunners at the back if you're going to play this way. You, you really have. I mean, this is just a mis mistake as well by the event, which obviously doesn't help them. But then again, because it's high up the pitch, you haven't got time to recover. And, and this one really is, is the worst one. If you, if you, if you look here... Henri's only going to run there is where the arrow goes. Look at that area. It's There's no go. pressure on the ball whatsoever. You just you cannot play that way against Arsenal because that's what and you get. It puts get. the rest of the side under pressure because they do create chances. They do, well, most definitely, and they, and they work harder and they're organised. But that that is an impossibility. Yeah.